me just have a look. Nope, barbed wire. Uh uh. No. <laughs> Water, I don't mind. Barbed wire is a definite no. Listen, I've always said the best camera you've got is the one in your pocket. 100%. I've always said that. Okay. One, two, three. We'll take, take a few away. There you go. I'll show you on my granddaughter. Oh, well, you're going to show that one? Yeah. Yes, the round My granddaughter took that one. that one. See, beautiful. Absolutely that might, fantastic. She, she's, she's 13 and she took that. We called her and she just went in front of her and took that. Isn't that a marvelous she's laying on the floor floor I think with, with, with dogs and, and children, let them do yeah. what they want to do. And the, and let them do it. You know, if you tell a kid to smile, it won't. Same yeah. with dogs, the dogs won't smile either. <laughs> yeah, I've tried for many a year. <laughs> Lovely, thanks. Okay, not a problem. Nice to meet you both. What a lovely couple that were. Always, I always like to offer um, people the chance to get their, their photos taken um, as a group because a lot of the time they come and they get individual ones. So to do something like that is, it really, really does make me feel good. Um, but anyway, I haven't even introduced where we are. We are still in the Yorkshire Moors, Yorkshire Dells. If there's a difference, let me know in the comments. And we are at a place called Janet's Foss Waterfall. I love, love waterfalls. I really, really do. There's just something tranquil and something soft and peaceful about them. Um, I could sit in front of a waterfall for hours upon end. I really, really could. But anyway, anyway. That is today's subject. We've got plenty of foreground interest. We've got a cascade just behind us here. We've got boulders, we've got trees with bare roots. We've got loads of moss. We've got an old banana skin. Please people, don't leave your rubbish lying around. Uh, what else we've got? The water, that looks very, very inviting. This is somewhere I would go on the height of summer. Uh, for the for the dip, and speaking of which, I'm still with Ginger Captures, Darren Melrose. Like and subscribe to his channel. He mentioned just a minute ago we might get wet. Now that kind of scared me, um, but I had a foresight and I actually brought a towel with me. It's like I knew. Um, I brought the towel simply because, if need be. <laughs> He's going for a swim. <laughs> I've just actually said I could quite happily jump in there. Yeah, yeah. Not now, it's a bit overcast, but I bet that in the height of summer is amazing. Yeah, it's you can, I mean, it must be maybe four or five foot deep and you could see right to the bottom. It's, it's clear as anything. But yeah, um, I'd quite happily get my, my feet out and get that shot. Sometimes you've got to go against the grain if you like or go out of your comfort zone to get the shot get something different um, not today though but we never know never say never as I say but anyway I've waffled on for nearly five minutes now I do apologize I'm gonna get my camera out go handheld just to work the area work the compositions sometimes in the past I've been very uh, what's the word I'm looking for very eager to get involved in the scene and just go crazy so I've had to slow down and calm down this shot I'm gonna try and get now I actually found it doing some b-roll um, just through the gap in the tree and the wall so my only concern is it's quite high and I'm not sure if the tripod will reach. So let's hope and pray, shall we? Half of this image is very nice. Um, the top half, absolutely awful. I say awful, I mean it's blown out. Uh, the sky is blown out in the highlights. So, 
this is going to be a square crop maybe a three by four or perhaps a one by one so the top of the waterfall will be the top of the image and it'll work your way down but because the wall is so close I am gonna have to focus stack the image just twice just two images one on the rocks and one on the waterfall just to make sure I've got enough detail in both areas F11, 10th of a second, ISO 100, two second timer. Gosh, you can. Gosh, you can. You don't mind me getting some images, do you? No. You don't mind? Oh, okay, I can, I can email you them. I can email you them if you like, and you know. It's, yeah? It's all about give and take. You let me take them, I'll give you them. Right. Can't say fair of luck, can I? Yeah? Yeah, alright. You crack on girls. Right then, we are set up for our first composition. Eventually. I thought I'd lost my phone. Turns out it was in a different pocket in my bag. Anyway, right. Images compositions this one we've got boulders in the foreground now there's one two three but there's five of them in like a circular formation and in the middle it's just a pool of water which is for me personally it unbalances the image and I, I can't put my finger on why um, I've taken it uh, focused on the foreground and focused on the mid ground f11 I think it is yeah, F11, a tenth of a second, ISO 100. Now, like I say, it's, I'm shooting at 15 mil and I'm kind of clipping the edge of the rocks, which I don't like to do, but I'm kind of restricted in the space I've got. So I'm gonna try a horizontal formation and see if that brings out anything better. A little I mean I'm losing a tiny bit of the waterfall but to compensate for that I'm getting the full rocks all of the rocks in now we've only got three rocks in one the big one on the left the center one in the middle obviously a smaller one in the middle and the one on the bottom right it kind of balances the image a bit more like I say the top of the image is I've kind of clipped the waterfall but there's nothing I can do about that. It's, I've got to compensate for something. Polarizer, don't forget about the polarizer. Perfect. Two second timer. Let's have a look at that. And here's the sun, wow. Um, I, can't, <laughs> I can't see a thing because of the sun. That just came out of nowhere. And now my highlights are bursting out the side of the camera. <laughs> if you don't mind, if I, I... I'll tell you what, if you, if you just take the camera... Oh God, I don't even dare. No, no, just walk across the, and if I If I could walk across there, I'd be happy, believe me. All right. <laughs> right. Oh. Thank you, but no, it's fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes needs must. <laughs> My heart will go nuts, I tell you. Right then, as you can see, I've moved around from the other side of this little little pool. I've came across this this rock face. Uh, it's covered in in moss. Bit of a a strange angle, and you think it's that waterfall is so prominent in the area, but right now the waterfall is taking a back seat. The prominent subject right now is is this wall, this this greenery. Um, 
and the waterfall is just in the top left hand third of the image. Bit of a strange one, but sometimes the main subject has to take second place. And I was just saying to Darren there, I'm kind of struggling here, truth be told. I, I, I don't know why. I can't quite put my finger on it. Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes I just, I just get like this. Uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one, but it's a fantastic day so far, really is. Really is. Focus on the foreground. Two second timer. There we go. Right, I think I now know why Darren said I might get wet. For the record, disclaimer. <laughs> he's, he's just gone for it. He's just gone for it. <laughs> it was it was all gentle, it was all nice and easy, and it was it stood here and he was looking, he was thinking, next you go, no, he's gone. He's absolutely gone. <laughs> I now know why he said I hope you've got a towel the thing is I don't think there's a dignified way of getting across here but what I am going to do I'll tell you the reason why actually the reason why we are up here is just behind the waterfall is a little cave now we want to see if if we can get in there now I'm gonna leave it up to Darren to see if he can get down there and if he can I might I might try now going by my luck today that might be a bad idea because there's a bit of a, a decline and there's not much to hold on to so, I mean, Daz isn't struggling. He seems to be doing all right. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna try this. I, uh, I might give this one a miss. He's done it, mind, he's done it. There he is. He made it. He made it. Fair play. Do I try it? I mean, as far as I'm aware, there's one more vlog to come from today. Do I want to get? I've only got to get two. There. Once I get to here, I'm okay. Um, oh, I don't know what to do. Let me just have a look. Nope, barbed wire. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> Water, I don't mind. Barbed wire is a definite no. Right then, right then guys, that's going to tie up this vlog. That one, I'm afraid, is going to be a bit of a mishmash. A mishmash even. I can't even get that bit right. Images wise, I think I got one. I think I got one capable image. It won't win awards. It'll probably lose awards, but it'll never win an award. Um, it transpired it was actually my last image my last my last go to composition um but we've just came to another location but that will be in next week's vlog or a vlog in the in the, in the future so if you're still watching this <laughs> hats off to you honestly because this like i say is a bit of a, a mishmash of a, an attempt at a vlog so if you are still watching it's really really appreciated if you're new around here, why not consider subscribing? And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I mean, I enjoyed making it, I think. But it just goes to show that um, not every location 
is suitable to my ability if you like I did struggle I did struggle but listen that's part and parcel of it so anyway like I say that'll do for this week guys thanks for watching and I hope hopefully see you all next time bye for now